Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm ET69 and welcome back to channel. Today we're going to be looking at the recently buffed AMX 50B. Now most of the auto loaders, uh, especially the, the heavies, the AMX 50B, uh, the T57, they all got uh, a buff. Now I'm not entirely sure as to why. Um, pretty much they've taken two seconds off the full uh, magazine clip. Instead of 20 seconds, this is now 18 seconds. Um, so not bad. It's, that's two seconds, which is pretty good, to be honest. But I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it hasn't been performing uh, as it should. Uh, but a two-second buff, it, great. I don't mind that whatsoever. I like the tank. I like the T57 Heavy. Uh, so a buff is more than welcome. It's not like a, a massive buff. Um, but two seconds is pretty pretty decent. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have three battles to show you. One which is myself here, um, and I have to I have to say I am absolutely ashamed of myself. This battle. I you're gonna see why. Um, I do say it in videos, don't do it, um, and I just went and done it. So I'm ever so sorry. And this is actually an ace battle, and it's probably the easiest ace, apart from playing the Kenny Otsu um, on my press account, it's probably the easiest ace I have ever done, and it's completely 100% not worthy of an ace. Oh, look at that in that corner. There is an AFK Jaegeru. Haha. <laughs> Not bad, but before that, we are going to we are going to clear the tanks that are actually causing us some problems, which is here the T62 and the IS7. So at the moment, there's four tanks on this IS7. I've got two shells left. We are all shooting him. I'm going to hit my final shell and guess where I am going. Of course, there is only one place to go, and that is in this corner. I'm not sure why I would go in this corner. Oh yeah, there's an AFK. He's a dangerous target, okay? He's a Jaegeru. He's a very dangerous target, and he could come back alive. You never, ever know. And it is seven against four, you know, so we should really win. So farming a bit of damage on a game that we are definitely going to win. I mean, it's seven against four. Take away the, the, the AFK, seven against three. They've got to really do some big, big numbers to, to win this. So we do take off, we do take away the Jaegeru. Uh, that pushes my damage just to 3k, and there is still three tanks left. There's a Death Star E100 and this T30 in front of me. So by now, we are just going to rush in. We've got a full magazine reload ready. We've got three shells ready. So we have the T57 Heavy with me. There's the E100. We're not going to deal with him just yet. We're going to deal with this T30. So two auto loaders together. One shot, two shot, three shot, good by T30. And now we can just focus on this E100. One shell left, we are just gonna track him, keep him in position. Obviously, we didn't mean to do that. We wanted the damage, but goodbye T57. He's just been wrecked by the Death Star. But the Death Star is now taken out by the other Death Star. So it just now leaves this E100. So still five seconds left. I'm not too worried if he gets a shot off. Uh, and we are gonna actually get two shots into him and it is game over. So 4.6k damage. I am really ashamed that that was an ace. Uh, we do get the scout medal on, on with that. 1,415 base XP. So it's a pretty easy tank to ace with that XP, to be honest. Uh, 2,000 assistant damage on top of that. So that's probably why I got the XP I did. Um, but I'm still ashamed that doesn't deserve to be an ace. But these next two battles do so we are going to have a look at matchmaking is rigged not sure if uh, matchmaking is actually rigged uh, well i'm 100 certain it's not rigged uh, but nice name whatsoever so he's going to push this middle here uh, we've got the bat chat he's going to go full in and luckily the bat chat misses his first shot he gets two shells into him, and now the bat chat's not even focusing him. He's focusing the Leopard PTA. Uh, he does focus him, but he bounces. So not a good clip there from the, the bat chat. He gets one shot on the Leopard, and that is it. So 
the batch hat is now getting wrecked. There is an FV4005 in that corner, uh, but now matchmaking is rigged. He's going to go and focus the E5 that is just around this corner. So he's going to wait for him to poke out, and stupidly, the E5 does poke out. He gets one shot into him, and now he's going to turn and he's going to focus the FV4005, who is paying attention to uh, him. 515 damage, unlucky. Um, so now he's on an 18 second reload. He's going to wait. The FV4005 is getting taken care of. He goes. So it's now seven or six against six. Um, he does get need to be careful because he's put, getting pushed from the uh, the back by the spawn area uh, by three tanks. So the WZ11 one is dealing with the Leopard. Fortunately misses that shot there. So unless he can get a high roll, he's not going to clear him with this shot. But he does put him down to 10 HP and the Leopard does take him out. So it's now six against five. The E5 is around the T54E1 there. You've got the AMX50B and you've got the Object 268 and the bat chat there. Now, I say this in videos, clear targets. If you can clear a target, clear targets. Now, this bat chat, since the beginning of the game, he's been on one HP, one HP. And even though he's so low at hit points, he is still going to cause mega, mega problems, especially when he is not spotted, especially when the green team is not focusing him because they want damage. They want damage, baby, and one HP is not a lot of damage, so people are just ignoring him. Uh, so he's going to deal with this E5 now, he's going to switch to the he uh, HE to clear him, and you can just see this back chat, he's behind, I'll have a quick look, and then I'm going to not focus him. Uh, so he almost dies from the back chat. Luckily, he doesn't, but he's now down to a one shot, which this AMX 50B could potentially shoot him. He's got three shells, uh, he had plenty of hit points, but the AMX 50B doesn't want to focus him. So he gets away with that one. Uh, he does get away with that one, uh, but the bat chat is still alive. He's still alive. He's not going to be alive for much longer, but he's causing problems for the green team. So if you can clear a target, clear a target, especially if you're in an auto loader, because you shoot, it's just a HE shot and you've still got two shells remaining. So if you can clear a target, do always clear a target. That is still one less gun out of the game that could potentially cause big, big problems, just like this back chat did here. So he got away with that one, but still finished on 6,800 damage. He gets the ace, high caliber, uh, 46,000 credits as well, which isn't bad. And he gets 1,508, uh, 1,582 base XP, sir. So that one was more worthy of an ace, and this one even more so. This time we're looking at Keep Calm Dude, and he is on Castilla. And he's going to rush into the middle area, uh, which is not a bad position uh, for a heavy tank, especially uh, an auto loader. It depending on what the enemy does. Now, the enemy have got two mediums and a light tank, so there is a possibility they could all go towards A. Um, I've seen it happen, but there is the VK and the Yeageru and the M103. They have all been spotted, so now we know that uh, most of the heavies at least are around this area. Nobody is capping A just yet, but they will. Uh, so now he's going to poke forward, he's going to get a shot in on the M103. Now the problem with this position is you are pretty close to the enemy. So as soon as he sh he's shot, he is now on, uh, he's now spotted and he's now on a, a long reload. So he needs to use these houses uh, for protection, for cover. So this is why this position is not so bad, because you have got the cover. Uh, now they are capping A. So he needs to be careful of the flanking medium. So we know we got the heavies around here. We know the TDs right at the back. And now we have A that has been uh, capped. So the mediums are going to start coming around very soon. Gets away with that one from the M103. The M103 did miss his shot. Now there's the Centurion, which means that there is uh, one of the other mediums, maybe the T62. Yeah, the T62 is on his way around. So he now needs to be careful. Uh, from all different uh, directions. So he's going to turn, he is still on a reload, so he's just going to wait, there is no point exposing yourself. As I say in every video I do of an auto loader, while you're reloading, don't expose yourself. There is no need to expose yourself and risk getting damage done to you. Uh, as soon as you're reloaded, yes, you can 
uh, like he's doing here, he's going to go and chase the T62. Unfortunately, by the time he gets there, the T62 is not going to have many hit points left. He is a one shot uh, and he does manage to clear him. So he's going to go for the full magazine reload, which is perfect uh, because there's no targets at the moment. So you might as well do that reload so you have all three shells uh, in your clip instead of two. So they are losing on cap points. So obviously the cap A has been uh, capped by the T62 and it is six against five. So there's still plenty of time. There's only one cap that has been caught. So there's still plenty of time. Um, but the main target for me here is that, uh, that VK. He's causing big, big problems uh, where he is. He is, he needs to get him from the side and he knows that he is he, I think he was on his way, but then the Centurion uh, did spot him. He gets one shot off. Unfortunately, he can't quite get that second shot off uh, until the, the Centurion drops down. Um, you can see he's focused on the Centurion. He does need to be careful from the left side because the VK can actually shoot him through the buildings. But he's going to go and he's going to cap B. Uh, so at least that is one cap and luckily gets that bounce there and just in time to cap the base. He does get a nice shot on the Centurion. Uh, so the Centurion is now low hit points, but it's four against five. So there's still a lot of work to do. He's now on a five second reload. The Conqueror is on his way. He is a one shot, um, but he's gonna go for the VK, which is a perfect, perfect uh, situation. Two shots there. And just before he releases his third shot he does get killed by the bat chat so now that is bring it down to a four versus three there's a centurion a jaegeru and a bat chat now the centurion don't know what he's doing he decides to push just before uh keep calm reload his three shots so he's going to get one shot off uh, but that is all he's going to do so he's going to shoot him twice one shell remaining again he's going to go for that full magazine reload which you should always always do if you've got no targets on an auto loader and you've got one shell or two shells just reload the full clip uh, there is no point keeping one or two shells because you might need the three shells uh, so now he's reloaded uh, the bat chat is there who actually does a pretty good job i don't know if he's been sat there all battle just farming damage from the vk uh, that has been spotting all the all, all the tanks uh, but he actually does some good damage now it's three against two there is this T30 who is pretty low hit points. I think he's going to get taken out by the camping Jaegeru who has been sat at the back all battle. There he is. Uh, I don't think he's actually moved at all. So Kikam is going to go and he's going to try and get around to see if he can get any shots. Now the bat chap takes out uh, the T30. Uh, now he's playing it very, very risky. He's spotted and he's gone out i would wait a little bit longer because now he is a one shot he misses that shot but and he also misses or he only tracks the Yeageru on his third shot and here he gets very 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 lucky he gets one bounce the bat chat then misses his second shot and i think he's not going to be able to clear him on his third shot so now the bat chat is on a big reload and he's got three shells one shot two shot sets him on fire and he is going to clear him with his third shot. So now it's a one versus one. Um, has the Jaegeru moved? We are not sure, but all it is going to take for the Jaegeru to kill the, uh, kill the AMX is a HE shot. But now this is where the Jaegeru makes uh, a vital mistake. If I was the Jaegeru, just stay where you are. Just stay in that corner. You've been sat there all battle. You've been sat there all battle from the from the from the get-go so why decide to move now because you're winning on caps they're on 900 supremacy points and he decides to flank round he's going to fluff his shot and now keep calm is just going to clear him with his remaining shells so bad bad error there from the Yeageru, uh, but very well played for keep calm dude 7200 damage five kills he gets the steel wall top gun high caliber and bradley's so that is the amx 50b very nice tank uh, the buff was welcome it doesn't change much uh, too much uh, but it's still a nice buff i'm easy 69 i hope you enjoyed the video uh, video and i will see you soon bye bye